For one, I'm not paying for everybody's you food. It's your birthday, cool, but food. I'm not doing that. It's 18. What? Why do you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18. This woman brought not one but 18 of her friends to her birthday party. And then she expects him to pay for every single one of them. Obviously, you should never tolerate this kind of behavior. There's only one thing I can say. She belongs to the streets. We're about equality, right? Why men don't pay that? Yeah, pay true. child support anyway. Yeah. I said a lot of men don't pay child support. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's way well in this country or anyway. Or when they do, it's not like a high amount. It's like 30 pounds a month. What? So does it really benefit the woman? Are they really paying their way? Not really. Not really. Maybe richer men are Maybe. paying child support, like celebrities, but the standard guy is not. He's not paying that much. But when you when you think about it, right? According to 2020 statistics, average pay for child support is about two hundred dollars. Let me know if I got this wrong, but if your yearly salary is fifteen thousand dollars and you have one child, you would be paying seventeen percent of your income per year in child support. So when it, women are incentivized to get babies off of rich guys. So a guy can do everything right, wear a condom, yeah. have protected sex, yeah. outside of abstinence, right? Yeah. And she could still steal the condom, as we saw in the Drake hot sauce yeah. incident. <laughs> and so, so women are incentivized to get a baby off of a rich guy because she's on the hook for child support for 18 years. What? It's a long time, 18 long years. Yeah, brother definitely gets it. We know, bro, when your girl is speaking about child support, it can be very scary. Be a father, I wouldn't suddenly morph into a mother. Again, with respect. Piers Morgan is back at it again with gender specifics. I know you guys love him lately, so here you go. With respect, would you look into the face of a man that has just lost his wife and is really struggling to play the role of the mother and the father and mm. say that to him? Yeah. So you're not a mother. He's the father. That child, well, you might be more sensitive in those circumstances. You still call him He's a father. playing the role of the mother because... That was me, I'd be a father. I wouldn't suddenly morph into a mother. Again, with respect, to mother and to father are not gender specific. They're, they are they're, gender specific. No, they're not. Hey, boys, please let me know what you think about this. She's saying that a mother can father a child and vice versa, that a father can mother a child. And believe me when I say I'm just as confused as you. Why are we pretending the otherwise? The skills of course to they're mother and to father can be acquired. Are you, are you a woman? Well, yes, I am a woman. So, are you a man? So can okay. I suddenly say... You can just literally say, I'm a, I'm a I woman. Am a, I am a woman, but I'm also capable of the skills it takes to father a child. Mm. Similarly, you are a man, and you are capable of the skills to mother a child. I would mm. hope, I'm not sure though, because nurturing, caring, is that in your capabilities? I brought up four kids, very well, so. but they've always known who their dad is and who their mum is. What's wrong with that? But the skill to mother is something that a man can also okay. do. So guys, I found this girl on Instagram who asked me out to prom. I told her I would go. I flew all the way to Alabama just to surprise her. Well, I'm going to prom. I'm super excited. I gotta figure out how to put this on. Okay, this boy proceeds to fly to Alabama to meet this girl called Ella. Sweet home Alabama. Actually, the funny thing about this is how her father reacted. Literally placing weapons around the house and making sure the guy was delivered a some sort of message. How would you react if you were in this guy's position? Let me know if you think that that is a Chad or a little bit overprotective. Space. Space. So I'm with Ella and we're going to be going to prom together. And I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm still excited. <laughs> I'm not nervous, I'm just excited. Hey, she's got it down. Do you believe in equal pay for equal work? Yes, absolutely. Men are being underpaid on well, OnlyFans. Those, we're 18... not demonstrating against those issues. We're demonstrating I against... am, though. No, oh, you are. But I am. This is, we have a different Ooh. cause here. All jobs that put food on the table matter. Men, Men on sure. OnlyFans matter. <laughs> Sensational. No, they're not. You got these 18 year old women, they can pay their rent just by taking the uh, shitty iPhone pictures of their butthole, and I don't think it's fair. I this is the pressing is issue of our time. Yes. Well, it is not. I'm offended. This female cop was absolutely rejected by this 17 year old who knows his rights. Were you at the e cig store? The who? The e cig store? E cigarettes? How old are you? 17. You're 17? Where are you coming from? All right. Direct center? Yeah. What's your name? Why? 
Because I'm asking you for your name. No, I don't have to give out my name. Yeah, you do. Because I'm investigating a suspicious person and you have to give me your name. Suspicious ain't a crime though. Uh, yeah, it is. She just said that being suspicious is a crime. Somebody needs to get her off her job. Because if she doesn't have a reasonable suspicion, she can't lawfully demand anything from him. I just came from the wreck. Okay, what is your name? I don't need to give out that. I didn't commit no crime. Can you call your sergeant? I don't need to call my sergeant. Yes, you do. For what? Because you got to. It's your policy. You better do it. But I know the law. I'm not dumb. I didn't say you were dumb. Then why are you trying to play me for stupid? I'm not. Okay, I believe you. Then why you keep questioning me if I haven't done nothing? Well, now that I'm looking at your pants, I see they're black, and I was told they were blue pants. Oh yeah, of course, now she thinks about it. Obviously, after she made the unlawful order. Tell me a little bit about you. I'm a barista, and then for fun, I read a lot, and I have a lot of house plants, and I go out with friends. That's like, what's the happen with your hands? It's hard to get. I was worried that he was gonna hit it, so I wanted to hit it first. That already showed him that she has something to be insecure about. <laughs> well, I haven't even I haven't even been able to learn much. If the parties consent, I dare you to kiss each other. Okay, sure. Damn! Wow. That was nice. That was nice. You're gonna hate what you see. Oh my god, you're gorgeous. Is this the type of person you normally would date? Honestly, no. Why? I don't have a type. Don't have a type, bro. Just be honest. And what did I do? Honestly, I feel like it's because I'm heavy. No. It's either that or the insecurity she's projecting. Judging by his face, he actually seems pretty honest. Let me know if you think he's just on a dodge being cancelled. No, that's the vibe I got. What do you think the issue is with dating right now? Ooh. Ooh. Men. Why? Speak on that. Literally just men. What about men? It just their pure existence. As you just heard, this woman claims that the world would be better off if men went extinct. What could they do better? Not exist. <laughs> So do you think you could survive with all men? Absolutely. How long? Mm. Probably longer than I would survive with men. You know how to change a tire? Yeah. Do you know how to fix a drain? Yeah. Stop the cap. <laughs> Walk me through it if it's busted. Get the long Thank snake you. thing and twirl it in. That's not a busted drain, that's a clog drain. Uh, then I would just use a different sink. You just proved your point. You just proved your point. <laughs> Keep going, I'm listening. There's I'm listening. female I'm plumbers. Listening. What do you think taught these plumbers how to plumb? Maybe the other female plumbers that existed before them. A plumbing <laughs> textbook. Plumbing <laughs> textbook. What is this talking about? Why is it when I come home, I see a eviction notice on the front door? This guy's wife, who's actually packing her stuff up, as the caption says, bought a Chanel bag and a car instead of paying their mortgage. And look at my wife. Just in there acting like a home. Castle's just packing stuff up while we getting put out. You mind telling me what happened? Yes, I bought the car sitting outside. Okay. I bought myself a Chanel bag. You know, she's so entitled, especially when she allows herself to say this stuff on camera. You bought yourself a Chanel bag, but you didn't pay for the mortgage? I wanted to do something. Are you crazy? Myself. Have you lost your mind? Did you really just sit here and tell me you bought a Chanel bag? Meanwhile, we were seven but months behind all our mortgage. Damn, son. For who? Not for us? And the next person that's gonna live in this house? That doesn't serve us any good. You watch TV, there's a remote. Where am I gonna watch TV at? Outside? On the street? That's how it be nowadays, boys. You really sit yeah. here and act like ain't nothing going wrong and it's not a big deal and we're literally getting put out of our house. Just look at her face. Do you forget how hard we work for this house? Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now you can call Cis yourself men whatever you don't want. Don't menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. Let me know if you think men can menstruate. I mean, it's kind of ironic it has the word men in it. No, Saying they this don't. Saying this non-binary people. <clears throat> Only women. Menstruating is not exclusive yes, to it cis is. women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why my body menstruated you are, at some point. If your chromosomes are XX and you're young, you menstruate. If you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non binary We're not excluding men. a whole group of they're, people They're women that dressed menstruate. as men. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. Uh, that's a fact that is pretty hard to negate. So why are we just looking at the, 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 the science of this as an the example? Science. When we've learned sex and gender identity are two very, they're completely different things. They're not completely different They are completely things. different. Completely different words. 
And sex <laughs> is what you're born with, the sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're completely different Well, I don't accept things. that distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're, you're just making it up. This video shows exactly how hard it is to be a man in today's society. If you don't want to get emotional, I suggest you skip this part, guys. Uh, good morning, everybody. Apologize for being late. My wife just died. All right, we've got a lot on the agenda today, so let's begin. I mean, your wife. Yeah, well, as you might expect, it pain's unlike anything I've ever experienced before, but uh, we've got a lot to do today, so let's keep moving, okay? Next question, Jim. I just love to see how all of the interviewers and reporters forget about today's agenda in politics and they actually care for this guy because what he went through in this period was definitely not an easy thing to go through. Uh, Jim, what happened was she died. It was a car accident. We can't just bring the entire nation to a halt because of it. So does anybody have a question for the president? Have you told Bobby and Megan yet? Uh, well, the children were in the car with their mother at the time. They're at Unit Georgetown University Hospital. Bobby's in a coma and Megan uh, lost her life. This is definitely too much for a man to intake in one day. Do you need anyone to talk to or someone to help you with anything? Uh, people, this subject is not on the agenda today. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like more than to drop down behind this podium and weep. But I can't do this. Why? Because I'm a grown man, I've got a job to do, and so do you. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Stay safe.